All right, guys. So, besides that bowl, this right here is everything that you're going to need to make your vac system other than your shop vac. Um, what you're looking at here is a face plate. Everybody, I believe, gets one of them whenever they buy their lathe. Um, I just turned a piece of oak, red oak, that I had um, that um, was quarter sawn, so it's real good and stable wood. Shouldn't warp. Um, turned it to about a seven inch round. Dished this out just a little. Found some sheet foam at my craft store and uh, got it adhered. Got your hole through the middle of it so that you can get your vacuum. This part here, this is something that you'll probably say, wow, I can't believe you did that to that. This is, or used to be, a safety drive spur. If you can see right there, it has a set screw. Well, that used to have a center point in it and that set screw held the center point. What I did was pull the center point out, stuck the Morris taper into my headstock and drilled it out with a 3 8 drill bit. Um, I talked to a machinist. Um, he said there was plenty of meat in what I was leaving left that it was not an issue. Um, so this coming out the back is lamp rod. Um, I let cut it to the length that I needed, stuck it through that Morris taper and used that set screw to clamp it in. Um, it was actually a tight enough fit that I had to grind down just on the threads just a little bit to, to get it to slide in. Um, fits really well. You've got two lamp rod nuts. And here's the kicker. Here's the piece that everybody seems to buy. Now, I got some of this idea, and I told myself that I was not going to do any name drops, but uh, I kind of feel like I need to because this here was not my idea 100%. Um, I got the lamp rod idea from Captain Eddie. Um, I, instead of using the rubber bone from his video, I used the Morse taper because I had it. Um, and I got this idea from Bob Hamilton's video. But in both of their videos, they bought this piece. This piece is the piece that goes to your vacuum or your Venturi system that you would be using to create a vacuum, hooking it to your air compressor. Now, what I've done was took a 3 8 bearing and I turned a hub for it. Now everybody talks about how we like our turners pop whenever we make a box with a lid. Well, 
this is your opportunity to get that Turner's pop because you want this bearing to be a good, good pressed in fit. And the same thing for this, whenever it is inside of your vacuum hose. If you can see, it's got a slight bevel on it so that it accepts into that vacuum hose. This here is just the set screw nut that I used for whenever I put it in the vacuum hose so that the hose can't come off. So I'm gonna try to swing myself around with all these parts and pieces and show you all how this thing goes together. Now, I apologize because I have to do this while um, holding my phone and recording, but you take your Morris taper, you slide it in, you let it seat really well. This that protrudes out here, I made sure that whenever I put this on that those two had a friction fit as well whenever this goes on here so there again i apologize i have to hold this phone with one hand and try to do all this with the other so we've got that on do like that that's good and tight so there's your chuck you've got your Morris taper going through Here's your hand wheel, lamp rod. We'll put one nut on. We'll take our bearing system. And we'll put our other nut on. There again, having to try to do this while holding this camera. So, let me lock that and grab my and we will cinch this up to where it snugs up onto that bearing hand wheel won't move this is locked guess what that spins. Ho oh, ho, that's what we want. Yes, because now we can take our hand screw out, reach down here, get our vacuum hose, and you'll see that I have drilled a hole to accept my thumb screw and another hole here. And I filled that in a little bit because I was getting some whistle. So I just put some hot melt glue on it and it took care of the whistle for the most part. But that hole is there because you do not want to deadhead your vacuum. Um, you, you've all put your hand over the hose and ho heard how 
vac strains whenever it's deadheaded. It's you don't want to do that, obviously. So this hole keeps it from being deadheaded, and it does not affect the system pulling the amount that it needs to to hold your work and I'll demonstrate that in just a minute so let's get this here lined up All right, we got that on there. You can see. I'll turn the lathe on. Oh, got to unlock it first. And look, we are spinning. Wow, and I didn't have to buy an adapter from anybody. I kept my money in my pocket for the most part. I bought a lamp rod and a bearing. That's right. Okay, now, here's for the test. This is a pretty good size bolt. Um, I think it is uh, it's cherry. And it is... It's a decent size bowl. It's almost as big as my lathe will take, so I say it's big. Uh, it's about ten and a half inches, um, uh, inch and a quarter, inch and three sixteenths thick, and four inches tall. That's a pretty good hefty bowl. Um, we're going to turn this vacuum on and I'm going to show you how it works. So let's walk over here. It's going to get noisy. You're probably not going to be able to hear me, but I'm going to show you this thing. Now, obviously, I'm not worried about getting this thing too centered right now because I don't even have my tail stock on my leg. I mean, guys, that's, that's held on there. I'm going to turn the lathe on. That's a pretty good size bowl running out of a true right there. I'm running at, um, I mean, only 280. But look at the wobble. Look at that. So... There again, I just wanted to show that you don't have to buy their system to be able to do this. Um, it's 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 easy. I mean, it's a bearing and a, a wood hub and some pipe thread or some uh, lamp pipe and lamp nuts uh, 
you know, if you don't want to use the Morse taper, I'm sure you could figure out some other method of, of doing it. Like I said, Captain Eddie shows something. So, um, you know, if you don't want to use the Morse taper, uh, go watch Captain Eddie's video and, um, and, and he uses a, a rubber bung, but, um, I, I mean, this is, this is simple guys. We can do this stuff. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Please hit like, subscribe um you know share this please share it with as many people as you can because it's doable and it didn't cost but about 20 bucks end all be all uh bearing and everything so you know just do it 